furniture. No. Kristen Brinkle and Izzo. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, better yet. Status uh, by February. Let us know in that one sense. If we go, you never know if we get a better offer, right? In that sense, I'm just kidding. Uh, being a student athlete myself, way back when, believe it or not, I we all went to high school. Okay, in that sense, and there's probably a lot of student athletes sitting out here in regards to coming through the, uh, the uh, public school system. But this is rare air. When you get to the point when you are at a high school of 3,000 students, uh, you're at a, uh, in a district that has over uh, you know, 9,000 high school students, when you're in a county that has over 36,000 graduates this year, it's Riverside County alone, let alone across the state, what's going on across the nation, and you get to the point where your academic and your athletic prowess uh, earn you uh, a scholarship that somebody says, I want you to come to my university and I'm going to pay you to come. You're in rare air. Okay, and so, uh, raise your hand if you're a parent, if you've ever sat on a cold bleacher somewhere, you know, around Southern California, or uh, traveled late at night to get to a, a, a club game, or uh, went out and bought the right color socks because they needed to be a certain color yes. for a certain event or a certain t-shirt or the list goes on and on as parents, okay, in that sense in regards to supporting your athletes. And so there's a big, huge thank you, if you've not already done it, that you owe in this direction, okay, uh, because without parental support, and family support, and sacrifice, okay, financially, time, and other things, okay, that the list goes on and on and on. Um, that uh, the hats are off, okay, to the family and the sport. And even brothers and sisters, older and younger, uh, in that sense, of being dragged to those games and, you know, and sometimes putting their things on hold uh, so that they can come and cheer you on and support you. But it is about you today, in that sense, that you've earned the grades, uh, you've earned the stats, you've earned the scores, you've earned the positions, uh, and your hard work, and let alone, not too dramatic, that blood, sweat, and tears that went into this. Um, playing these games, uh, these sports for a long, long time. Uh, these are a passion of yours, okay, in that sense, that's obvious. Uh, and your dedication has uh, demonstrated that you're worthy of the event that we're going to kind of go through right now. Today is National Signing Day, in that sense, and that the letters and intent that they're signing is a commitment that they're making. A commitment not only to the university, but also to the programs and the schools and their education that they're, that they're getting ready to take on. And so that's really important, okay? A uh, little bit of advice, because I have the floor right now, because I do have a few uh, uh, privileges in that one sense. Never quit. Don't let hardship, struggle, going from being big fish in the little pond to being the little fish in the big pond. Don't let others take away a dream that you work so hard for. Stick with it. Take the time. Commit to it. Build relationships. Have fun. It's going to change a little bit for you. It's going to kind of morph from a game to a little bit of a business. You're now paying to play, in essence. You've always paid with your time, you've always paid with your heart, and you've always paid with your energy. But now it's going to be a little bit different. Take that and strive. Take that and drink it in. Take that and relish that. Because the time will be fleeting. Believe it or not, it will go fast. But you earned it. You're the champion, so to speak, of our school. And you need to be proud of that. Be proud of yourself in that. Right. 
to be humble in spirit as you take it forward. Never forget your background. And when you become rich and famous, you need to donate back to the Alumni Association. All right? Because there's a lot of young people that look up to you right now that come to your games and want to be you someday. <coughs> Raise your hand if you were that young little kid looking up and seeing older players playing that game or I wanted to be so and so. Is that not true? All right. I wanted to be Johnny United as well. But uh, we all have those dreams. So you're now living that dream. Okay. What I want to do, though, is start on this end. Um, I know these athletes, but I want them to introduce themselves, their sport, and also the university that they're going to be attending. So let's start right here. Um, my name is Leonard Ruiz. I play softball, and I'm going to the University of Hawaii. I'm Taylor Barnson, and I play volleyball, and I'm going to Utah State University. Congratulations on your win last night. <laughs> Uh, I'm Kristen Williams. I'm going to Idaho State uh, University and I play softball. Uh, I'm Krista Frazier. I'm going to the University of Illinois at Chicago to play softball. I'm Justin Turner. I play baseball and I'm going to Cal State University. I'm Parker Moore. I play the cross. I'm going to Adams State University. from them before we do the photo op. You need, you need to tell us what you're going to major in and what degree you're going to graduate in. Uh, <laughs> for a question, I'm going in on this side. On this side. What's your love? Here's why do I ask? Why do you think I ask? Um, I don't know like specifically what I want to do, but I really like psychology, environmental science, and English. So, so it's open. Yeah. Those three areas. All right. Uh, accounting or business major. on that, okay? And the average college student changes their major, okay, in that one sense. But there's an old saying, I think most of us who have a little bit of seasoning on us uh, would agree, that if you do the job that you love, you'll never work a day in your life. That's a little bit of a cliche, but it is very important for you to understand that. Yes, athletics is one of the things that's driving and getting you to the university this level, but your job at the university is going to be 51% academic and 49% athletic. All right? Have you heard that from your mom and dad? Okay. All right, any questions of me? All right. Um, what we're going to do right here on the count of three, we're going we're gonna to do our signing, okay, that one sense. All right? Now, after you sign your name, you kind of just have to kind of hold your pen there at that last little part and pretend like you're doing it with all the rest of the photos. And feel free to get up and come up and get close up to whatever you do. We'll do kind of a group shot to start, okay? Uh, Mrs. Jackson's going to see you. Sneak up your parents, anything else?